All right, the, uh, the plan here is to go over a, or actually create a couple of um, videos on the topic of parabolas. Um, and you can see it says parabolas iconic. And what does that mean? Um, parabolas were covered probably in your Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 to a certain extent. Um, they're seemingly fairly easy. They're you know, like U-shaped things or upside down U-shaped things or U-shaped things facing to the right or to the left, depending on, you know, uh, how the equation is set up. Um, but there, there are a few complexities to parabolas that we want to go over. Um, also understand that some things that look like a parabola are not a really a parabola. There's a, you know, a specific definition of a parabola. And um, this idea of a conic and what's, you know, what does that mean? And also, what are the important things for finding, you know, parabolas? You know, there's essentially three things, and we'll go over that. All right, so let's get um, started here. First thing, and I'm going to move me out of the way here. There we go. <clears throat> Is this idea of conics or or conic sections. What do we mean by that? Well, this is from your book, but I tried to make a picture here. And notice the cone. I'm just going to use this part here. I've got a cone and then another cone right below it, and they touch right in the middle. It's called a double-napped cone. And if I take a plane, which is kind of like a, think of it as a knife right now, and I slice it through uh, these two cones that are put together, I can create various different um, conic sections, they're called. So if I cut it nice and horizontally through here, I get a circle. And you can kind of see the circle up here. If I could rotate this thing, you would see a circle. If I slice it, but with a certain type of an angle, then what I get is not really a circle this time, but an ellipse. Okay, an ellipse is kind of a circle that's been distorted a little bit. If I slice it, down through the top of one of the uh, cones in a certain manner, then you get the parabola. You can see the parabola shape here. All right. If I slice it straight down so that it cuts through both cones, then I create the hyperbola, which sort of looks like a parabola and then an upside down parabola. All right. If I slice it horizontally or even with probably some angle, eh, horizontal will work better. Right where the two cones touch, I just get a point, just a point. So it probably has to be horizontal. Um, and if I slice it just along the edge of the one cone, it'll go along the edge of the other cone. And what I really get is just a line. So that's kind of cool. All right. Um, and those are the important ones, I think, to, to look at here. So circle, ellipse, parabola, hyperbola, you know, lines and points are not quite as interesting as these guys are here. All right, so let me slide ahead here a bit. Let's suppose, and I'm going to move my head out of the way up into here now. There you go. <clears throat> here we have a parabola that looks like it's opened upward, and we have the x, y coordinate plane and all that. Okay, uh, here's the vertex, in this case, the minimum point on the parabola. And then I have a couple of other things, something called the focus that is sort of inside the curved part of the parabola. So a parabola will always sort of wrap around and kind of hold or uh, kind of squeeze, I guess, toward the focus. So if you want to think of a parabola sort of as a kind of a satellite dish, its curvature is curving around the focus. On the other side of the parabola, not where the parabola is curved toward, but in the opposite direction, is this line called a directrix. All right. And here's the deal on directrix and focus and vertex. The directrix will be, and I lost it there. Let me go back. Ooh, lost it a couple of times. Sorry. Okay. The directrix will be 
the same distance away from the vertex as, for some reason I'm doing a bad thing, uh, the directory will be the same distance away from the vertex as the vertex is to the focus. Or in other words, the vertex is halfway between the focus and the directrix. All right. So what is a parabola? A parabola has an infinite number of points. There's an infinite number of points on a parabola. Let's just pick a couple here. If we look at this point right here, that the distance from this point to the focus is the same as the distance from this point down to the directrix. Okay. If I pick another point here, this point out here is further away from the focus than this point is, and it's further away from the directrix than this point. But the deal is, no matter what point you pick, the distance from that point to the focus is the same as the distance from that point to the directrix. And there I did it again. Okay. All right, so it doesn't really matter what point you pick. I could even pick the vertex. The distance from the vertex to the focus is exactly the same as the distance from the, and that's getting annoying, uh, vertex down to the directrix. All right. Um, so let's see. One last thing before we move ahead here. Something called the axis of symmetry. Um, it would be a line that goes through the focus vertex and it's perpendicular down to the directrix. In this case here, the way this one is drawn, the axis of symmetry would be the y-axis. That's not always true. I mean, we could move the vertex to different places and the axis of symmetry wouldn't necessarily be a y-axis or an x-axis. It could be something else. All right, so that's an introduction to what a parabola is. Some things have shapes like parabolas, but a parabola is a set of points that are, each point is the same distance away from the directrix as it is to the focus. So it's, it's very distance oriented here. All right. We will look at four types of parabolas here. Four types. <clears throat> we'll look at parabolas that open upward, parabolas that open downward, parabolas that open to the right, parabolas that open to the left. We'll keep it fairly simple there. All right. And you'll see all kinds of little goofy formulas all in here. You really don't need to focus that much on those. Um, if you understand what a parabola is doing, we can walk our way through it. Now, the thing that I do want to point out here a little bit, down here at the bottom, so all these, there's really that looks like four different formulas depending on the thing there's really only two in in the up or down parabola case if you look at it the standard form is x minus h in parentheses squared equals 4p times y minus k in parentheses both of these are identical all right and the thing to notice is it's really the x that's being squared so it's the x that's being squared the y is to the first power the y is to the first power, okay? So if you have an up or down parabola, it's basically, let's keep it simple. It's like the simplest case, if it's an up, upward opening one, would be y equals x squared. It's the most basic parabola that opens up. If you had a y equals negative x squared, it's the most basic parabola that opens downward, all right? H and k are really just the vertex. So in this case, either the bottom, the minimum point, if it's an opening upward parabola, or the maximum point, if it's an opening downward parabola. So that's what H and K are. H and K are important. They're two of the three important things about a parabola. The other important thing is this P. So what is P? P is called the directed distance. So what does that mean? We'll talk about that here in a second from the vertex to the focus. So P is really related to the distance from the vertex to the focus. If you're going in an upward direction from the vertex to the focus, P is positive. So usually distances are always positive, but this is a directed distance. So P is positive when we have to go from the vertex up to a focus. However, if we go from in a downward opening parabola, go from a vertex down to a focus, P would take on a negative value. 
and there I did it again, all right? So that's the up and down parabola. And it's important to, you know, kind of recognize whether I have an up or down or a right or left one. So let's look at the right or left ones here. This one opens to the right. This one opens to the left. Look at the difference in the standard uh, equations here, or standard form equations of these parabolas. Notice that it's still y minus k and x minus h, just like it was over here. No different except this time the y is being squared. The y is being squared, and the x is to the first power, and the x is to the first power. The simplest version of an opening to the right parabola would be x equals y squared. Okay? And the simplest version of one opening to the left would be x equals negative y squared. All right? Now, your vertex is still hk, just as it was. All right. Um, if the focus is to the right of the vertex, then P is positive. All right. P is still the distance from the vertex to the focus. It will be a positive directed distance if the focus is to the right of the vertex. If the focus in like this case here, the leftward opening parabola is to the left of the vertex, then P is going to be negative, all right? So it's a negative directed distance if the focus is to the left of the vertex. Okay, one thing I should mention is, you know, once you know where the focus is, the directrix is the same distance either below, in this case, either above the vertex and focus in this case, to the left of the parabola in this case here, and so that's what you get. And in this case here, it's to the um, right of the parabola. All right. So knowing whether it's an up or down or a right or left one is one of your most important first things. All right. So with that as a background, I'm going to stop this video and we're going to look at specific problems that deal with parabolas. Three important things to keep in mind. You can do practically anything you need to with parabolas if you know H and K and P. So H, K, and P rule parabolas. And we'll be back with the second video.